What's going on family? How's it going on? Welcome on back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. I know I am because the faction blessing this week is absolutely amazing. The Forest Alliance units are going up in Murdrank every 60 seconds. So the Ivy, Earth Elemental and Trapper in this deck are doing the absolute work for us. The Snow Mage, Snow Mage, Coal Mage is in there to slow everything down, keep it all grouped together guys. The talents we are rocking are Fierce Cold, Heat Leap, Blizzard and Deadly Cold. That Deadly Cold talent is absolutely insane. Bombardier to group everything together, even though its ability has been taken away, it's still doing the work in this deck, my guys. And obviously we're rocking Snowflake, and the equipment we have got is the Sword to increase the damage of our Forest Alliance units this week. Hopefully it's going to be doing absolutely juicy for us. We've also got our Chainmail, which is decreasing the damage of our players' units. And then we've got our beautiful, beautiful Amulet of Growth, which is just increasing the damage of our units. Only a Kingdom of Light and Techno on there, so not really helping us out too much but it's the sword that we're liking this week. So let's jump straight into it, my guys. See how we can get it up and running. Hopefully we're gonna be absolutely doing the work. This is probably one of the best, the best free to play decks in the game as well. So pay close attention. You just need to be getting everything up to at least a merge three and then concentrating on more trappers, more earth elementals. You need to have at least three high merged coal mages to be keeping that entire wave slowed and one maybe two high merged IVs. Only one Bombardier will be doing the work for you. So let's get it going today, my guys. Coming up against the Boreas Hex Frost deck with the Enchanted Sword, very nice. He does have a couple of talents on his Enchanted Sword. He's got three talents on his Boreas, which is absolutely insane. So let's just hope we can have a good, good, good game, my guys. We all know how good Hex is. That insta-kill is just mwah, absolutely insanity. It's absolutely insane, my guys. I cannot wait for Hex talent. But that's a story for another day. We need to be rocking our snowflake every time it is available because you're getting three shards every time you do, increasing your damage from that snowflake. So every time you do have that snowflake, making sure you're rocking it because you're just getting more and more damage for when you rock her that next time. Let's fill our board up a little bit now. We've got the Merge 2 Ivy there already, which is absolutely beautiful. And our board's looking pretty orange right now. Pretty orange. More orange than my hair, guys. And is that possible? Is that even possible? Let's get rid of a few bits of orange on our board. We don't need that much stun. We don't really need that much slow at the minute, but I can guarantee you that when we merge these cold mages, we're getting a cold mage on this green tile here. Every single time, every single time, my guys. But don't get me wrong, it won't do it this time because it's gonna make me out to be a liar. You know how it is. Boom. Told you, my guys, not this time. Not doing it to us this time, but that merge to Ivy on there is beautiful because it's just going to be doing that increased damage. Obviously, we do need to be merging a little bit more on my tiles to be increasing that damage because it don't it goes up two percent per merge on those green tiles and it does buff the units that are on the tile. So when you get up to that twenty six percent, you want to be trying to make sure you've got an Ivy on there or maybe an Earth Elemental, but you want that Ivy on there mainly because that is your damage dealer in this deck. But obviously I do have three tiles. So maybe you could just get an Ivy on there to start with. And then just concentrate on merging the units on the other two spare tiles. That might be a safer option. We're getting our Snowflake back now. Obviously we're not going to rock it when there's no units on the field. But we'll rock it pretty shortly. Just so we are making sure that we get it back in time. To be able to rock it maybe twice again before Bedlam. We'll have to wait and see. Bedlam does not affect this deck either at all my guys. You're going to get a flip. He might leave you pretty poorly. But as long as you say pretty. Pretty. As long as you save a pretty decent amount of mana you're going to be able to recover from it pretty well being the second boss he might not even flip me he might depends how we get our board looking my guys but there we go we can get an increase in damage on that tile now and this time i'm going to merge off the tile because it is much easier to drop something else on there and then merge a merge one rather than trying to find a merge three and get it merged onto there and then it's much harder to try and get a merge four merged onto there so Let's keep it going. Getting that merged on there for a merge to Ivy. This time I'm going to have to merge onto there because both of our units are on them green tiles. And now we could actually merge down again if we wanted to. But I think we're just going to keep it looking cushy for now. We're going to get one, two, three, four, five levels on things. Rock our snowflake. And I do believe that does come back in time for Bedlam as well. Beautiful. So I only rocked it another one time. Maybe my maths was a little bit off there, my guys. Oh no, I meant I'll be able to rock it. Yeah, I'll be able to rock it once when I did, another time now, and it'll be back in time to rock again for Bedlam, which will be great because he has one, two, three, four. He's only got four, oh, he's got five, but if I could get maybe his two merge twos and merge three covered up with my snowflake, I'll be able to take him out, mate. I'll be able to take him out. That would be insane. If I could get him taken out 
buy the bedlam, get the flip off, that would be absolutely beautiful. So, we need to be making sure that we're rocking our snowflake. Yes, bedlam is about to come out and our snowflake is just coming back now, my guys. Boom, rocking it a little bit early, so we're making sure that we're covering up. But he took his out easy peasy, I didn't even see his come out on the board. Yes, he does have that talented frost, so I'm pretty certain with that talented frost, he's able to prevent bosses and mini bosses ability. Yeah. Insane talent for a level 9 talent. Insane. We'll have to wait and see what Bombardier's talents are going to be when they eventually come out because they have been teased. Well, not teased, but they have told us that Bombardier are going to be getting talents. That's why they got rid of his ability. But we can only wait and hope and see what they're going to be. Ball's not looking too bad now, though, my guys. Ball's not looking too bad. Let's get a couple more levels on things so that we're ensuring we're keeping things back a little bit better. Rock our snowflake there. It will be back again in time for bed. Then again. That is beautiful because hopefully we'll be able to get a few more of the units covered up this time. He's doing insane amounts of damage, insane amounts of work though, baby. I'm a little bit scared to be honest, but I'm pretty sure that we can do it. Getting merged up there for the Mercury Earth Elemental is pretty good. We can get merged up there for another Merged to Ivy. We can get these two merged up. Another Merged to Earth Elemental there is not going to be complained about. And unfortunately, I do believe I'm going to merge a couple of Bombardiers. I think that's the next best play. The next best play. Yes, we do lose. I was going to say we lose our stun, but we didn't. We managed to keep it, which is absolutely crazy. Snowflake has just come back there, which is absolutely great. We can get a few things covered up just in time for bed. Look, hopefully, get him flipped. That's what we're looking for to get him flipped. To get him flipperino. What is doing? That. He's not getting flipped by anything. Is that his arrows? I don't know what that is, but he's not getting flipped. And we don't want to be left like this. But if we do, oh my goodness. Let's get them merged off. Beautiful. Come in with the merge point of the handle there. We can get those two merged off. We're going to get those two merged off. And we're not looking bad there, actually. We're not looking bad at all. We could ask for a high merge bombardier, which I obviously just got merged off, which is a little bit silly of me. But we did not come out of that looking too bad at all. Getting another merge two Ivy there was a bit frustrating though. Hmm. Alright, we can get them two, them two merged off. We can hope for another merge one Ivy or Bombardier now. Let's rock that. Don't think it comes back in time for Tribunal this time, but hey ho, do what we can. Do what we can. Getting two Bombardiers on the back there. Alright. We need to get a few more levels on things. We need to be making sure that we've got our maximum levels so we're keeping everything back as best as possible, guys, because my mate over there is doing insanely well. He's not falling off against bosses yet. He's obviously got the frost in there to deal with bosses, but when he does start to fall off, he's doing great, my guys. He's doing great. Obviously, he is running out of frost with that mark, so that could be our saving grace. A little bit of a hit there for us, which is a bit unfortunate, but we will get that nice high crit and take him right on out. I'm not worried about it one little bit. Easy peasy. Look at that. Right, the armoured monsters are starting now though, which is a bit scary. Bit scary indeed, my guys. We've got King Puddin coming out next as well, which is always a little bit of an issue for us, guys. But we can rock our snowflake now, hopefully get him covered up a little bit. Ooh, have we lost our slow? We are slowing the wave pretty well because of our stun capabilities as well. Oh, is he starting to fall off? I don't know, I don't know. It looks like it a little bit. Getting another level on our Bombardier and another level on our Cold Mage there. We just need one more level on our Cold Mage for that maximum level as well, which is great. But we are falling off a little bit now, which is a bit unfortunate. Come on. Come on, we can do this. Keep ourselves in it just for another round, and then we'll do some merging next round. Come on. Come on, there we go. Pulling it back a little bit. Come on, Cold Mage. Coming in clutch. Getting them into kills. We've got our Snowflake back, so we can rock that if we need to. And it will keep us in it for the King Pudding round. But I kind of want to use it on King Pudding, so... Are we going to have to rock it before King Pudding? No! Oh, I clicked it, but I held it in, guys. I held it in. Boom! Come on, let's get this guy taken out. Let's get this guy taken out. He's falling out. He can't insta-kill them, which is absolutely amazing. We've got a better damage output against bosses, I believe. He's taking his King Pudding down to the second stage there, though, which is... Not good for us. I think he's de he's dealing with that easy peasy lemon squeezy. No problem at all. No, is he? Yes. No. Yeah. I thought we might have taken him there, my guys. I thought we might have taken him. Ours is down into that second stage, though, which is exactly what we like to see. 
We could have our snowflake back by the time he actually gets anywhere near that corner as well. So if we did need to rock it, we could. But hopefully we're not going to have to rock it. I hope. I really don't want to have to rock my snowflake again before he does come out. Obviously we are able to stun them up when they get into that next stage. There we go. Our board is so globbed up though. So globbed up my guys. What are we going to do? We're going to have to lose our slow a little bit which is a bit annoying. But we can get them two merged up. We're getting a merged board trapper out of that which is alright. We're merging them two up. We're getting another couple of trappers out of that. We need a slow back. We need our slow back. Come on. Stop covering up the things I want to merge. Of course you are. Of course. Come on. Come on. Stop with the trappers. Bombardier's not too good. Come on. There's the slow back. There's the slow back. But that's not going to be enough for us in this round. 15 seconds. I think we've had it. I think we've had it. We pushed our luck. We pushed our luck, guys. We've got 10 seconds. And I really, really, really don't think we're going to be able to hold on. Come on. Get some nice high crits. Come on, Ivy. Do some damage. Do something. Keep it all back. We made it another round. I don't know how, but we made it another round there. <laughs> that was insane. Come on. We've got our snowflake back, guys, so we'll keep it there for now. Grandmaster merging things off. Give it as a merge. Five Earth Elemental there, so our Venom increase is just doing beautifully for us. But we're losing everything. Nothing else on my board can be merged off. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. Nothing else on my board can be merged off, which is beautiful. So now we're just trying to rock everything. What is it? So we've got a... I don't even know what's on my board right now. A Grandmaster and a Virus. Virus isn't great. He's not bad though, but I think we win. Pretty sure we win here, my guys. Every single day we take that. Woo woo! Yeah, we do. Woo woo! Yeah, we do. And I don't want to say this guy's paid to win, but level 13 Boreas, level 11 Sword, with only 1700 crit. Maybe he's just been getting Boreas and Sword out of all of his chests, but 148 million damage is absolutely beautiful with the Ivy, my guys. And we're getting a gold map for that. We'll take those every single day. Yes, my guys. Make sure you're dropping a like on the video for that. Subscribing to the channel if you are new around here. We're all in it for the high intensity, high damage games. And we're absolutely loving it. And now we're coming up against the 13 Blade Dancer. This is going to be a bit of a different story, my guys. 13 Blade Dancer and 13 Boreas are completely different. He's rocking that red fairy as well, so he's just increasing his damage with every purple fairy that he does place on his units. Oh, Blade Dancer is going to be meta next update because of the Knight Statue talent. It's going to be crazy. And that's going to be back when I first started playing Rush Royale, my guys. When I first started playing Rush Royale, Knight Statue was OP. Absolutely insane, and then it got a massive nerf, and now it's just going to be great again with talents and that 15 talent giving it that area damage, and that's all for the blade dancer. Blade dancer is going to be everywhere, and that's why when people have been complaining about blade dancer, Rush Royale have just been brushing it off. We think blade dancer performs satisfactorily, satisfactorily, satisfact. Shut up, Cedric. But they believed that it performed well enough that it didn't need a change. And that's because they knew Knight Statue Talents were coming, my guys. Of course it is. Why would they make it stronger when they know that these Knight Statue Talents are coming and they're just going to be increasing it and making it even stronger again? But my guys, the level 13 Blade Dancer is no match for the Shadowrook! We take those! Yes, we do! No, I'm only joking, my guys. That is poor RNG on my guy's side over there. But we do still take the dub. Yes, we do. We take the dub. It just puts us a little bit closer to them beautiful crystals. So let's jump into another one and see if we can get that last win that we need for them purple crystals. It's not going to give it to me easy, my guys, because it doesn't want to be giving away that free currency. Of course it doesn't. It's putting me into that extended surge. So that now goes from people in my trophy range to and beyond 7k or does it increase the crit range with that i'm not too sure but let's get into it level 11 demon hunter i believe that we can take this one out i believe that we can get looking good enough to be able to take this guy down into pantan pantan he's obviously obviously gonna be rocking that twilight hunting my guy should we have a look boom twilight hunt in clerk of shadows so he's not going to be getting any... Well, he might be getting some negative effects put on him, my guys. Because he's only got a 25% chance of 
Getting rid of the negative effects when he gets hit. That's an awful cleansing ability. If you ask me. But obviously the rush away our devs are not asking me, so it doesn't matter what I think. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me know what you think. I'd like to know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think is the worst cleansing ability? And what do you think is the best cleansing ability? So you've got Inquisitors, which cleanses itself by eating itself, or eating one of itself. You've got Cultist, which cleanses itself by sacrificing itself. You've got Bruiser, which cleanses itself by collecting a clover. You've got Demon Hunter, which has a 25% chance of cleansing itself when hit by a negative effect. What else is there? I think Boreas has a chance of cleansing negative effects at 13 talent. Maybe it might be the 11 talent, I'm not too sure. Lots of, lots of insane cleansing talents out there now, my guys. Because of, oh, we need to rock our snowflake. Forgot to be rocking her. We need to be rocking her, Cedric. If we want a chance of taking out the level 11 Dean Hunter, we need to be rocking our snowflake as often as possible. All right, a couple of gold mages there. On our green tiles as well, we've got enough to be able to merge them all off. We'll do that now, actually. We'll do that now. Boom, increasing our damage to 4% now, and now to 6%. Oh, yeah. Right, probably take Puppeteer out, he's peasing him and squeezy guys, I'm not worried about Puppeteer. He might get the move off on us, but hopefully he doesn't get the level off on us, and he doesn't even get the move off on us. <laughs> Bedlam coming out next is, again, like I said, not even an issue, my guys. We don't care about the player, but as long as we save a little bit of mana, we can do a few little things afterwards, and we'll get looking absolutely cushy again. I thought that we merged off our slow in that last game, and we did ourselves down and out because of it. But we managed to bring it back, we managed to find that merge, three Cold Mage. Slow our wave down enough to be able to keep ourselves in it for that last round. And we took him because the Boreas just can't cope with them high level bosses. Them high HP bosses, my guys. So there we go. Rocking our Snowflake again now. We are going to be getting it back in time to rock twice before Bedlam again. At 1 minute and 20, I believe. Might be pushing it a bit. Oh, again. Almost merging onto that green tile. But I want to be merging off the green tile. So now when we drop something on there, we can merge it, merge it onto the tile again. Easy peasy. Alright, we've got some nice earth elementals on the board, some nice low on the board. We haven't got really any nice trappers though, and we're about to get rid of our trappers. We can merge these two up now though, and we're getting a merge three bombardier out of that, so we're not going to complain. We're going to merge them two up, we're going to merge two trapper out of that. we got so much on the board, we didn't mean to merge up there, but I do believe we're going to merge off of that now, and we're coming in with a merge four coal mage, which is very stupid of me to do. But the merge four coal mage is going to be causing all the slow, and it obviously is firing a little bit quicker, so we should be getting them insta kills or them finishing off executions a little bit better might be able to keep ourselves in it against the Bedlam. Might be able to. Didn't mean to level that one up, but oh well. I'm keeping my Snowflake now to rock against Bedlam as well, so we can hopefully get some nice damage off against him. If the Snowflake can crit, it can crit up to like 200k or something, so we might even be able to take our Bedlam out if we get the Snowflake crit. But we'll have to wait and see what we can do. What we're going to be able to do, what we're going to get, and what's going to happen. Here we go now. Here we go now. 239k. A bam! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Never mind. We got a merge four bombardier out of it, so we can't complain at that. That's pretty nice. If I can try and find the merge three bombardier to be able to merge off of that one, that'll be even better. Let's go ahead and do that now. Hey, hey, hey. just like that, my guys. And we get the merge four earth elemental out of it, so that is our damage back up and running. We're gonna be merging up onto the green tile now because we've got the merge three ivy over there, so he's just doing 12% more damage now, which is absolutely beautiful. All we need is the merge three trapper, and we'll be doing insane amounts of work, insane amounts of damage, my guys. So. Merging the two bombardiers there for another merge two earth elemental isn't too bad at all. And sorry that my speech and my vocab is getting a little bit quick, my guys, because I am getting a little bit excited. I do love the Ivy deck so much. They're so good. They're so strong. They're so free to play friendly. It's absolutely unbelievable. But there we go. Getting a couple more levels on our unit now, so we are keeping things back a little bit better. And we've got another Bedlarino coming out, guys. Another Bedlarino. A Bedlarino coming out to face the Cedarino. I'm sure we're going to take him out no matter what, Arino. Oh my gosh, Cedric. You poet. You poet. Alright, we've got a couple of trappers here. Let's get them moved onto the tile for the merge two earth elemental again. Absolutely beautiful. Just gonna be increasing our damage. So many earth elementals on the board. Let's see if we can get a I wanna merge three trapper. I really don't want the one, two, three, four bombardier, my guys. 
But again, with the Bednarino coming out, we're going to be getting a flip and we're not bothered one little bit. What's he going to be doing to us? What? What? Nothing at all. Freeze him up. 15 shots. We're taking him out. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. With the flip. With the back. With the back with the merge four. Cold mage there now, my guys. Back with the merge four. Cold mage looking better than ever. And we've got a merge four ivy there, which is gorgeous. We've got the merge three trapper there. All right, we've got some decent units on the board now. I'm going to get these two merged up, though, because we've got another merge three earth elemental there. As one got leveled up, which is great. All right, the board looks good now. The board looks good. Let's get a couple of levels on things, so we're just looking even better. Keeping things back even better, my guys. And soon, soon, the demon hunter will start to fall off. Yes, you hit that merge one, Ivy. No, leave my earth elementals alone. How dare you? All right, we'll rock that now because we're not going to be taking Warlock out before he gets hit anyway. So, try, just trying to increase them beautiful shards just to increase that damage is insane. But what do we reckon Warlock goes for? What do we reckon he goes for, my guys? I reckon Warlock goes for this Merge for Ivy, Merge for Cold Mage, or my Merge 3 Trapper because my Warlock RNG is stupidly bad. But we've saved plenty of money to be able to deal with things when he is gone so let's just see yes I could have merged that off why didn't I was that a merge one bombardier I didn't even see that there what a nerf elemental there I don't care we took him out lovely lovely uh, let's rock that now so we will get back in time for King Pud as well King Pud's a little bit annoying because he's going to be globbing up his globbing is up here there and everywhere even though we could just sit here cushy looking like this and save a little bit more mana get a couple of levels on things yeah, save some mana, get some levels on things. Keeping our way back easy peasy, let me squeeze in this round still, so we're not bothered. 479k, put it there, 479k! Where do you see that coming from? Alright, all his demon hunters, no they're not all, but a lot of his demon hunters are now on the 10, so we're getting a little bit scared. Are we getting a little bit scared? No, I don't think we, we, I don't think that we are, not yet. I don't know. We all know how strong Demon Hunter is. It can do four, five hundred mil damage, and we all know Ivy's just not that strong. But then again, if our Ivy got hit by the faction boost a couple of times, we can get it upwards of five and six. Might be doing a damage, my guys. Might be doing a damage. All right, there we go. Bang. Twenty-four on our Snowflake now as well. She doesn't seem to be doing that much more damage, but. We might be able to get her back in time to rock her again before King Pudding goes through our gate. And of course, our first unit to get globbed up was the Merge 4 Ivy. Of course it was. We're going to be looking mega globbed after this round. Alright, we know Ivy... Oof. I was just about to say, we know Ivy can get upwards of 3 mil crits. He just got a 5 mil crit there, my guys. That was savage. Right, we're definitely, definitely, definitely getting our snowflake back as well. We've got plenty of mana to play with, so hopefully we can get rid of all of our globbly gloobs. Globbly gloobs. And obviously, once we do start merging things up, our board could potentially look a little bit nicer. Uh, Alright. So far, we're not looking any nicer. <laughs> It's not giving me anything that I can really do with at the minute. We're going to lose our damage. It's just not giving me anything to move off. Nah. It's not giving me anything good here, guys. Nothing at all. We're going to have to rock our snowflake there. Come on. There we go. We can get them two merged off. Why would you give me another bombardier there? We've still got some decent ivies, but they're just not doing the work for us, guys. 2.8 milli on this guy. We've got no trappers. Unfortunately, he has walked through our gate, my guys. It just didn't give me what I wanted. Just didn't give me what I was looking for, unfortunately. And that guy's going to walk on through now, and we're going down and out right here. He did have a little bit more K crit than us, a little bit more K crit than us. He had about 600, 700 more crit than us. And we, we shouldn't have merged. Maybe we should have kept the globs on us for a little bit longer, guys, but... Obviously, we weren't going to be able to go the distance with the purple globs on us either. So that was very unfortunate. Very unfortunate indeed. I think we're going to probably leave it there. I don't want any of them offers, unfortunately. Rush Royale, thank you very much. And of course, it didn't give me the purple crystals. I told you it wasn't going to give it to me easy, my guys. 
but we'll try and get them in another video. So I'm going to be leaving that one here, my guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Make sure you're dropping a like if you have. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. This has been your boy, Cedric. I'm going to love you and leave you. Peace. When done with the